Okay, um, the third pitch. The third pitch this evening is La Cercanía. Yes, okay, and uh, <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Somebody is like, Cercanía. Okay, um, here are the bios. Uh, we have Jorge Tilan Armand. He's a writer and director. His debut feature film, La Soledad, premiered at the 73rd Venice International Film Festival and garnered 14 awards across 60 festivals, notably Miami Film Festival's um, Audience Award and the French Critics Union Prize at the Festival of Latin America Cinema in Biarritz. Sweet. Um, the Institute of Contemporary Art and Movie released the film theatrically in the UK, where it received praise from critics. He holds a bachelor's in communication studies from Concordia University and is an alumnus of the Venice Biennale College, TIFF Writers Studio, and Berlinale Talents. Okay, formidable. And his partner, Rodrigo Michelangeli, is a producer based in Toronto, and together with Jorge Tilan Armand, he founded La Faena Films, a production company dedicated to art house cinema. Since 2015, they have worked with co-producers from around the world, bless you, and received support <laughs> for their projects from institutions such as the Venice Biennale, Tribeca Film Festival, the Berlinale World Cinema Fund, Art Front Cinema, Canada Council for the Arts, and others. Okay, they know how to get money, this is great. Uh, they recently completed post-production on their second feature film, which was co-produced with France, Netherlands, and Colombia. Let's say yes to them for this pitch. Yes, vibrationally, not as the winners, but yes, as like we are, yes, ready to hear what they have to say. La Cercanía, Jorge Tilan Armand, and Rodrigo Michelangeli. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Jorge. This is Rodrigo, my producer. Um, first of all, thank you, Tiff. Thank you, Telefilm. We're very excited to be here. La Cercanía means closeness, and it's a very personal film for me. It's inspired by my mother's desire to return to Venezuela and the experience that we have gone through in adapting to our exile in Canada. I propose a fictional film acted by my real mother as she returns for the first time in 15 years. It, like my other movies, it's a mix between reality and fiction. Um, the story begins in Canada, when she receives news that her father disappeared in Venezuela. The emotional blow is devastating, but as a mother of three and caretaker of grandma, she can only afford to be strong. And she goes to Venezuela to search for her father, but also for the inner courage that she needs to accept her lonely life in Canada. When she arrives, she meets with her half-sister, Sofia, who is 25, and also a single mother. And they begin the search, and in the quest, they encounter corrupt institutions, lack of food, lack of electricity, um, and, and basically, they have to bend their moral values in order to survive. So the, the economic uh, disaster that is happening in Venezuela and the crisis is very much one of the strongest antagonists of our film. In the end, they find their father dead, um, but the event brings them together even closer and gives Oana the strength, my mother, to extend her stay in Venezuela and help Sofia finally get out for a chance of a better future. Um, I think it's really important that we make a real, realist film that deals with what's happening in Venezuela so that this will not be forgotten and repeated. And I think a really great way to do this is to make a story about love and family because that's precisely what's been broken. Jorge and I met six years ago and what brought us together was the pain and the tenderness that we share for the country that we left behind. In 2015, we founded La Faena Films here in Toronto and this will be our third feature film. I wanna show you an excerpt of La Fortaleza, which is our second feature film that we actually just finished this Friday. <laughs> Thank you. You will see that the protagonist is Jorge's real dad. We base the film on his real story, him dealing with alcoholism in uh, the mining towns of Venezuela. This is just to show you how we work with non-actors.
So over the years, we've developed a method of work that is rooted in the non-actor's life. So we take their stories and we work with them to make a film. And that yields incredible naturalistic performances. We're confident that we can do the same with Jorge's mom in La Cercanía and provide a very true and honest cinematic experience. This film that you just saw was a co-production between four countries and uh, had a million dollar budget. Uh, this next film that we're pitching today, we're aiming to have $1.2 million budget and we're confident that we can raise that amount of money again. Um, we are in the development stage with La Cercanía and we've raised $25,000 from uh, a research grant from the Canada Arts Council. Also, La Faena Films has invested $30,000 providing an Aria Alexa mini package for the shooting. Uh, the pitch price of this competition will be crucial for us since we will use it to make a demo and uh, go to Venezuela, shoot with Oana here and uh, reach our financing goals faster. Um, this film explores a collective sense of loss amongst everyone who was forced to leave their country like us. More than four million Venezuelans live in exile and with the migration crisis in the world, we feel that this story will really resonate. Um, looking at films, for example, like Roma, uh, that had a great success this year, uh, we can sense how audiences and critics are opening themselves to this kind of cinema that is based on real life and that is acted by non-actors. And we've also developed an audience around our work and around Jorge's work, first with La Soledad, now with La Fortaleza, that is in the hands of A-list festival programmers. And we will continue to work with those partners to release La Cercanía as the closure of an awaited powerful trilogy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.